It is great to see each and every one of you here. Words that Jesus said to his disciples all those years ago in the midst of a storm, he says to you this morning, no matter who you are, our Lord and Savior is speaking these words to you. Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. No matter who you are, no matter what's going on in your life or in the world, the Lord is with you in all of God's divine love and peace and power and strength and hope. So glad you are here to hear God's word today. Pray that you are strengthened in faith, faith that takes hold of every blessing of God for you. And we are so blessed here at St. Paul Lutheran Church. Every service, no, no matter when, the Spirit of God brings us visitors. And if you are visiting this morning, we pray with all our heart and soul, you not only hear about God's love for you in Jesus Christ, we pray that you find that love shining brightly through everyone. So before we begin, if you're physically able, would you please stand up and greet those around you, especially anyone that you may not know in the love of God. All of us serving together, far from perfect, but forgiven and honest about it and faithful and striving to share the love and forgiveness and blessings that God has given to us, not just with one another, but with the world around us. All these incredible blessings have come from God who works all things together for good. We look at that cross and that cross assures us that the Lord is with us the Lord is with us and all things are work for good. The Lord is with us as we proclaim his word. The Lord is with us as we give all praise to his name. We're gonna do that now. Ephesians, uh, that epistle lesson from Ephesians chapter three, uh, very powerful verses at the end to what some of you reacted to when, when Mary Ann read that. Uh, verses 20 and 21. In, in fact, let, let, let's stand up, stand up. And looking at that cross with thankful hearts of faith, we read together verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever, amen. 